Are you gonna sit and watch me run? Where are you going, buddy? <sighs> Good morning, YouTube viewers and subscribers. Today's another first for me. First time I've ever run one of these engines. And this is an engine that uh, was provided to me for a few runs from a good friend, Mark. And this is the OS FS70 Ultimate Engine. Now this is an engine that features a pump and a fuel regulator and a whole bunch of OS quality. This is the first time that I've attempted to run this engine. Now I have an APC 13.6 prop installed. I believe Mark sent this to me with an OSF plug and I'm going to be running it for the first time with my 8020 FAI fuel blend. I've got static thrust set up, but we'll see if I get that done on this run, otherwise we'll do it at a later time. Uh, it's got an incredibly complicated fuel setup here, fuel line setup. Now I'm only kidding, it's not that complicated. Look at the manual, you set it up, it's got, since it's the pumped engine, uh, you've got lines going to your pump, a line vent to the atmosphere, and then a line that actually pressurizes the fuel tank. Not that hard. I was kidding. But anyway, I'm really excited about running this engine, and uh, let's just get on with it.
Okay, as you can see, the engine runs, and it runs like an OS engine. Uh, very interesting. Um, I like it. I don't know what more to say about it. It's an OS engine, and it's a four-stroke, and it runs well, and all that good stuff. I think I got some pretty decent static thrust readings there. It's quite impressive, really. Um, there's really not much more to say about it other than Thank you, Mark, for giving me this opportunity to run it, and I will be running it some more. Uh, one thing I don't know, I think I have to relieve pressure on this, too. Yeah. So I just relieve pressure on the tank. Um, one thing I noticed during the quick look and kind of during the run, I don't know if you noticed this also, Mark, but your ratcheting clicker is broken off. So it wasn't really holding the needle valve setting. So there, during the run, you'd see uh, the RPM at a peak, and then it would start to drop off. And I happened to look down, and I could see the, the needle starting to rotate a little bit. Now, there is an O-ring seal on there, and it's fairly tight. Um, but I'm going to have to see if I can't see if I've got a spare clicker ratcheting mechanism to hold that in place better. Or maybe just put a piece of fuel tubing on there so I can hold needle valve settings so I don't have to sit there and keep adjusting it while I'm doing runs. But other than that, <laughs> this is a fantastic engine and a really great runner. So thank you again, Mark, for this opportunity and thank you all for watching.